Hello everyone. Now I would like to speak about how our behavior and emotions are ruled by the reptilian part of our brain. You know according to experts in the field of evolutionary biology the minds of human beings living in the modern world have their origin in our stone age forefathers. The evolutionary biologists are those who work in the field of biology that is concerned with the evolutionary processes that produce the biodiversity including humans on earth. It has, an, it has been established without doubts that humans emerged on the African swana about 2 lakh years ago. People today still have those traits that made survival in that era possible. We all know that life at that time was very short, fragile. They were constantly under threat from predators, harsh weather conditions, and impending natural disasters. That is why evolutionary scientists argue that Although the world has drastically changed, human beings have not. Humans who survived the extreme conditions of Stone Age adopted successfully the survival strategies so as to avoid those threats. They relied mainly on their reptilian part of brain, which is the most ancient part of our brain developed over 100 million years ago. On the other hand, our higher brain, that is neocortex, came only about 40,000 years ago. The reptilian brain fundamentally influences our control, our body functions as required for sustaining life such as breathing and body temperature, the basic emotions of love, hate, fear, lust, and contempt originates from this area of the brain. It is therefore clear that even in our modern world, our mind still retains the traits that are generated by the reptilian part of brain. When we are out of control with anger, it is our reptilian brain overriding our rational brain. While the more modern sophisticated parts of the brain get to do all the really complex day-to-day -day thinking, it is still the old reptilian part that rules our emotions. When we calm the reptilian brain, we have more control over our thoughts and our intentional behavior. We must therefore remember that unless we consciously make positive changes in our thought process, we will continue to be governed by the reptilian brain. Thanks for watching this video.